Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans watched Joey Grazia Day reduce his group of women from 4 to 3 last Monday night. These three women will now go on fantasy suite dates to Mexico thanks to The Bachelor. The women will ask questions and voice their concerns while they are there. Then Joey gets a note that has the power to alter everything. What will take place? Joey Graziadi is entering the Bachelor Fantasy Suite Week. Joey Graziadi is traveling to Mexico with his three surviving women as they move into Dream Suite Week. Previews reveal that Joey is falling for each of the three women. Rachel Nance, Kelsey Anderson, and Daisy Kent are the ladies. He's hopeful that this week would provide more clarity because he's falling for each of the three women. I hope by the end of this I feel everything I need to be able to get down on one knee and know it's my person. He remarked, This week is potential fantasy sweets. Joey can also be heard in the teaser telling someone that he has been falling in love with them for a while. Rachel explains to him that love is a great leap of faith and that she is going to take one. Later on, she is heard admitting that she is having trouble since she knows Joey is seeing other women. As she states that she could have her heart shattered by the other two ladies, Kelsey also raises some worries. As their emotions deepen and Joey's too, the women are beginning to question themselves. I feel deep down that people don't fall in love with me once I show them every part of myself, he remarked. Three of the women from The Golden Bachelor will also pay the ladies a visit. The final three will receive counsel from Sandra, Susan, and Leslie. Despite the menacing aspects of this teaser, there were also some intense and sensual makeout sessions. A note that might make all the difference. There seems to be a lot of tension already, as Joey finds a note hidden in his door. We need to talk, the note adds, according to Joey. I'm not sure what this is. This is a nightmare come true for me. Everything would collapse as a result of this. Nobody has been able to identify the sender of the note as of yet. According to certain interpretations, Rachel is the one who eliminates herself. Some believe Maria Jorgas returned in an attempt to win him over. As of right now, all of that is all conjecture, and viewers will have to wait until Monday night to find out. Joey's final two are Monday night, by the end. Who is leaving fantasy suites to return home? Pay attention. Alumni of Bachelor in Paradise Kylie Russell shared her startlingly memorable Bachelor experience. Zach Shawcross was not the love of her life during his season on The Bachelor. Then she went to Paradise's beach to search for love. Not everything went precisely as she had hoped. She still finds the positives, though, as she talks about her best TV-related memories. What was it? Kylie Russell shares her unexpected favorite reminiscence. On Instagram, Kylie Russell is being transparent and responding to queries from fans. Since appearing on the show, she has experienced a lot. It was during Bachelor in Paradise when Kylie fell in love. She and Avon Jones quit the show. She did not, however, walk off the beach engaged. After the television show's conclusion, Kylie and Avon went radio silent for several days. Then he uploaded a picture of the two of them. She continued by saying that their numerous infidelity prevented them from becoming a pair. Instead of denying it, he apologized in public. She's answering some questions now that she's moved to San Diego with fellow alum Jess Girard. What was the fan's favorite memory from Bachelor Nation? In response, Kylie displayed a video of a sunset captured during her time as Bachelor in Paradise. It's so hard to pinpoint one specific memory, she said as the caption. Despite the challenges the show presented to me, I am incredibly grateful for the individuals I met and the experiences I had. I rarely feel worthy, 
Therefore, I consider myself really fortunate to have been a part of anything like this. That being said, I watch this video quite a bit. We were all truly happy, falling in love, and creating wonderful memories. Recently, Noah Erb revealed that he has heard rumors that a couple from BIP's ninth season would be reconciling. Are they Avon and Kylie? Nobody has mentioned who he is speaking about thus far. Her career in nursing. The nursing profession of Kylie Russell piqued the interest of other fans. She disclosed that she recently took a position on the mother-slash-baby floor in San Diego. She also mentioned that becoming a nurse was her lifelong dream. She ultimately graduated from college with a degree in marketing, though since she was terrified that she wouldn't be admitted into nursing school. She felt guilty about it. She thus applied to and was admitted right away from nursing school. Fans were urged by Kali to never allow fear to get in the way of their goals. She is enjoying her life in San Diego thus far. Hannah Brown, a former bachelorette, has been marketing her new book and updating everyone on the status of her wedding arrangements. This past summer, she and Adam Woolard got engaged. When do they intend to officially announce it? Hannah Brown updates her wedding. Winner of Dancing with the Stars and Bachelorette Hannah Brown keeps her fans informed about the progress of her wedding preparations. Over the summer, she and Adam Woolard got engaged. With their dog, the two already share a Nashville apartment. Hannah had been working extremely hard to complete her book. Her first book was a memoir, and this one is a made-up romantic comedy. This is her second book. In Promoting Mistakes We Never Made, her latest book, Hannah talked about where she and Adam are in the planning stages of their wedding. Hannah answered U.S. Weekly in a very direct and honest manner. Says she, It's true that we are just getting started. That is all. We have a wedding planner. We've actually only been concentrating on our relationship and getting ready for marriage, not a wedding because it's been a really hectic season. But soon, there will undoubtedly be more preparations for the wedding. It just seems so overwhelming. And when you have things you really want to commemorate, participate in, and be there for this new book, it seems like that will take up all of my time. That will be fantastic when it happens, but I'm not quite ready to dive right in. Where would they like to wed? Additionally, Hannah Brown disclosed to Oka that they are unsure about the location of their wedding. He's from Oklahoma, she's from Alabama. They will need to choose a location for the wedding because it will not take place in their hometowns. She also revealed that, although she would want to just concentrate on her family, Adam is very sentimental and wants everyone there. Hannah revealed that although she wants to make sure the day is all about them, she still wants to wear the stunning dress and do everything. She wants to make sure she doesn't focus on other people's positive experiences because she has a tendency to do so. Hannah explains that the reason this relationship is unique is that Adam is prepared to work hard to develop it. Given that they have had diverse relationship experiences, she added that there is a certain amount of maturity. Would you think Adam and Hannah will get married? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.